Hey everyone, it's Emily with Cozy Clicks, and today I'm going to show you how to add brilliant blue water to your beach photos. Now I've pulled this beach photo up here, which I love, but I noticed that the water didn't come out as brilliant as it did in real life. It actually looks pretty dull and almost kind of gray. Uh, and if I grab my eyedropper tool and sample some of the colors that are in the water, I find I'm just kind of peeking at these colors that they're looking a little in the yellow family. Try another one here. Yeah, this water, it's not blue, it's looking yellow. And I don't want that in my beach photos. I want it to look very tropical and beautiful and blue. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go down to my adjustment layers and I'm gonna choose solid color. I'm gonna pick a nice aqua -y blue uh, that I like, and you could choose whatever shade of blue uh, you like best. And I'm going to change my blending mode from normal to screen. Now, when I do that, you see it goes over the whole photo, which I don't really love. So I'm going to go to that layer mask and I'm going to hit Control I to invert that layer. Next, I'm going to get a white brush and I'm going to make it a little bit bigger here. And I'm going to brush on that blue. Now, I notice right away as I'm brushing this on, it's quite bright and very unrealistic. So I'm going to drop that opacity right away so I get a better feel for what I'm, uh, where I'm painting on this water. So I'm going to bring that down quite a bit. Now, the trick to this is making sure you're not painting it on all the white caps in the water because there are naturally white areas where the waves are breaking in and we don't want those to be blue because if you've ever looked uh, at the waves crashing on the beach, there are a lot of white areas. So I'm gonna keep that in mind as I paint this on, paint on the blue, that I wanna keep some areas white. So if I get it on there, I'm just gonna take it off these rocks in the background. I take it off these white caps here, maybe a couple of the white caps that are in here. Actually, I kinda like that on there. And then I'm just going to adjust my opacity a little bit to my liking. So you see if I bring it up a little bit, that's looking fake. I always like to get it to an area I like and then bring it down just a little bit. Now you see there it is with the dull yellowish colored water. And there it is with a more vibrant, realistic looking blue. Now, if you want, you can play around with your blending modes and you could change this to overlay or soft light or lighten and any of those will give you a different effect too. So here's this layer now with overlay. With that, I'd want to bring it down just a little bit more. But you see it gives you a little bit different effect, but it makes the water beautiful and blue. Now, if you want to see the final image, I do have that linked uh, below. I have the link to the blog there, as well as seven other tips for shooting photos at the beach. So if you want to check that out, that's right down there. Thanks so much for watching. I hope you learned something today, and I will see you next time.